Hello there. I'm so excited to be back with yet another interesting update from Begin. If you are new here, I'm Anit, a product marketer with Begin, and I'm here to quickly walk you through the latest update in Begin, which is called Stage Automation. If you would like to trigger automatic actions whenever a record enters a specific stage of your pipeline, you can use Stage Automation to set it up. Until now, you would have been using workflows in order to set stage transition for your different stages in your pipeline. If you have been finding it pretty difficult or a bit tricky, this update is for you. But before walking you through the latest update, I'll quickly show you how it is done with the help of workflows so that you can draw a comparison between both the versions. As usual, let's consider an example to make things simpler. Let's say I have a customer support pipeline in my begin account and you're seeing that on the screen. I have five different stages. If any of my sales representative misses out in reaching out or following up with any of the tickets, that particular ticket would be moved to escalations. Once it reaches the escalation stage, I would like to trigger an email. Let's see how I'm going to set it up with the help of workflows. For that, I'll have to go to settings, click on workflows, create a new workflow. I'll have to first choose the pipeline, enter the name of the workflow and add a description if required. I am going to click on next and now I'll have to set a trigger, choose a condition. and click on next. So the action is to send an email. I'll have to enter the name. And add email recipients. If I have additional recipients, I can add them here. Now I'll have to choose an email template. I can either choose a template or I can create a template right from here. Since I already have a template, I'll just choose that click on save so the workflow is created now if I have to do this with the help of the new update that is stage automation I just have to go to that particular stage in my pipeline so in my case it's escalation so I'll just go there click on the drop down menu and select stage automation then choose the action which is again sending an email here also I'll have to give a name, choose the recipients, add additional recipients. I have a template so I'm just selecting that. Save it. A stage automation is created. Now if I have to see all the stage automations that are created, I'll just have to go to settings. Here you will note that the text is changed from workflows to automation. When you choose that, you can conveniently choose between workflows and stage automation. Since I just created a stage automation, we'll just see this. So this is the one which I created right now. I can modify this particular stage automation and manage this. And if I have a lot of them, I can easily filter them right from here so these are the different options that are available also note that stage automation solves only the stage movement related automation for other automation requirements that involves other modules and other cases you can continue to use workflows and we have also increased the number of automations that can be set up in your account this means that workflow and stage automation combined can be up to 3 in your free plan, 30 in your express plan and 50 in your premier plan. So that's about this update. Please do try it out and let us know your feedback. If you have any doubts or clarifications, please write to us at support at Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with another update.